Hello dear students. Now, the first unit again continue that is a B biology. In this lecture that is lecture 3, we discuss further about the morphology that is the thorax and the abdomen. In the previous lecture of the morphology of a bee and in that head region, we discuss about the compound eyes, ocelli, antennae, mouth parts and salivary glands. In this lecture, we discuss about the morphology of the thorax and the abdomen and associated the organs also. Now, these four different parts along with the salivary glands are to be discussed already in the last lecture. Further that, that is the legs, then the wings and the sting. These are three organs we are discussing today. Now, that is the thorax. Thorax is the large and a strong middle region of the body. This is the thoracic region and which consists of the three parts or it is divided into the three segments anterior prothorax, mid middle mesothorax and posterior region that is the metathorax. This uh, thorax that region it bears two locomotory organs that is two pairs of the wings and three pairs of the legs are present. That is the first pair that name is a prothoracic leg, middle pair mesothoracic leg and last pair that is a metathoracic leg we see that. Just we focus the detailed structure of that locomotory organs. First is the wings. The wings are small and narrow membranous as well as they are transparent here. Here the fore wings and the hind wings are present always remains in the pair that is two pairs of the wings are present. As per the position we say that fore wing and the hind wing. They lie flat over the back during the resting conditions. They have much modified and reduced venation. If you observe the venation, very few number of the venations are present in the fore wings and the hind wings of the honeybees. The fore wing and the hind wings of each side are interlocked by the hooks here. These are the hooks are present. Basically, we say that hemuli or the hymen. Why we say that the order hymenoptera? Because Hymen, it means that the hooks are present or the hemuli are present and tera, it means that the wings. It means that wings are on the wings, the hemuli are present here. And now that hemuli or hooks are present on the upper border at the middle region of the hind wing here. That hemuli or the hooks which are very important, which held in a groove so as to work together during the flight. Groove which is present at the lower border or lower margin toward the hemuli in the fore wing here. It means that that hooks or the hemuli interlock to the fore wing and to form the coupling apparatus we say that. That region basically we say that coupling apparatus. For the effective flight, <coughs> for the effective flight that coupling apparatus which is important. And due to which what happens that wings may vibrate over 400 times per second during the flight and this flight which is very important for the what we said foraging or the collection of the pollen as well as the nectar when visiting the different flowers here. The worker is capable of long flight even the 12 kilometer and due to the strong musculature the vibration rate is high and due to the coupling apparatus they move up to the 4 kilo, uh, up to the 12 kilometer from their nesting condition now that is the legs legs no doubt that is the three pairs of the legs first pair that name is the prothoracic leg this is the prothoracic leg 
and which consists of different that parts are present. Just we focus one by one here what it presents here. First of all, that is the basal coxa which is located and articulated to the thoracic region, especially which thoracic region? That is prothoracic region. Anteriorly, it articulated to the trochanter. Further that extended part that name is the femur. The femur further articulated to the another triangular extended part in that name is the tibia. The tibia possesses a number of stiff bristles at its anterior face which form the pollen brush here. Its posterior face bears a movable plate or the velum. This is the velum which is present at the posterior end, which fit over a circular notch in the upper part of the first tarsal segment. The velum and the basic tarsals forms antenna cleaner. It is used to remove the pollen attached to the antennae, that antenna cleaner which, which is the speciality of the prothoracic leg. The extended part from the tibia at the terminal end articulated to the what we say that tarsal segment. Total 4 or the 5 tarsal segments are present. This is the basal tarsal segment that name is the metatarsus or the basitarsus. That velum along with the basitarsus they form the antenna cleaner. This is the antenna cleaner which is present. And these further segments, these three or the four segments is are the tarsal segment and which is very important to collect or remove the pollen attaches to the antenna. It means that in this through this antenna cleaner, the antenna which are inserted and through which the pollens which are stick to the antennae which are collected or the removed here. Further that the another pair that name is the mesothoracic leg. This is the mesothoracic leg. All the segments once again repeated that is a coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus and the claws. This is the basal parts coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia. That tibia which is modified here and that tibia which bears a brush on its inner surface and a spine like pollen spur which is located on its distal surface or the distal end. This is the pollen spur which is present here. Further that the tibia terminally or anteriorly articulated to the tarsal segment expanded that first tarsal segment that is a metatarsus or the basitarsus and further that three segments of the tarsal segment which are very small. At the terminal end, the claw which is present. The spur of both the middle legs are used for the to remove pollen from the pollen basket of the hind legs here. That pollen spur which is very important, which is the speciality of the mesothoracic legs. As well as that pollen spur which is also important to dislodge the wax from the wax pockets on the ventral surface of the abdomen. When the wax which is secreted from the worker bees, they are dislodged from the wax pockets which is very important for the building or the construction of the comb here. The third pair that name is the metathoracic leg. This is the metathoracic leg which are somewhat the much adapted, much modified than the prothoracic as well as the metathoracic leg. These are the basal parts already explained in the prothoracic as well as the metathoracic leg. Each metathoracic leg has a large tibia with a cavity with bristles forming a pollen basket or the corbicula. Corbicula which is very important word, it means that those legs which are helpful for collection of the food materials and such type of the legs we say that corbiculate type of the leg. Such type of the legs also present in the dragonflies also. 
here that pollen basket or the carbicula which are used for storing as well as collection of the pollen grains during the foraging. At the end of the tibia has a row of stiff bristles called pectin below which is a flat plate the auricle. Look at that, this is the that stiff bristles in the form of the pectin is present and just below to that of this the flat plate in the form of the auricle is present. Further that, that a tibia which anteriorly articulated to the expanded portion that of the tarsus that name is the basitarsus here and further segments which are present of the tarsal segment that is the tarsal second, third, fourth and the fifth also which further ends into the claws which always remains in the paired. The inner surface of the basitarsus bears a series of transverse rows of hard bristles forming the pollen combs here. It means that these are the hard bristles rows which are present on the inner surface of the basitarsus and which has the ability to form the pollen comb here. That pollen comb which is very important during foraging the pollens from the body which are collected by the pollen comb here and from this pollen comb further that they are collected by the pectin and moves toward the that pollen basket. The pectin and the auricles form a pollen packer to convey the pack pollen into the pollen basket and as they collected pollen basket the pollen grains further shed off into the hexagonal cells of the comb we say that. After the thorax moves toward the abdomen and that abdomen this is the head region, thoracic region and extended largest portion that name is the abdomen here. The abdomen is oval and less hairy than rest of the body. The abdomen which consists of the seven segments but counting the propodium, propodium it means that the connection to the head, connection to the thoracic region, this portion basically we say propodium but counting the propodium as the first total seven exposed abdominal segments which are present in the that females especially the worker and the queen and nine segments in the drone or the male we say that. It possesses the gland that is a wax gland as well as the sting also. This is the lower portion of the abdomen region. These are the lateral plates as well as the central plates also present and terminally ends into the well modified ovipositor that name is the sting also. Now first of all the wax glands. This wax glands which are present here, total four pairs of the glands which are present in the worker bees situated on the ventral side of the last four abdominal segments. Which abdominal segments? That is a fourth, fifth, sixth and the seventh abdominal segment that four pairs of the wax glands are present at the ventral side of the abdomen. During the wax forming period, glands greatly thicken and takes on their glandular structure and as they forms in the glands, they continuous secrete their secretion in the form of the oily secretion that is a wax here. The wax is a discharge as a liquid. After that when it comes in contact with the air, they becomes hardens in the form of the small flakes or the scales. The wax scales is then transferred to the mandibles where it is chewed into a compact mass. Further, the secretion of the wax is best performed in the bees is at about 17 days of the age or before. It means that especially we say that during the nurse bees that period where comb foundation or construction of the comb which is carried by the that nurse bees further that the sting apparatus. The sting apparatus which is present in the female especially the queen and the worker bee and which is the modified ovipositor. 
in worker b the ovipositor changes into the sting as the poison apparatus this is the basal portion of the sting apparatus here certain muscles which are very important for the protraction and the retraction or the sting mechanism which is carried by the muscles here that is a motor sting muscles which are always paired located at the center position laterally arranged protractor muscles which are connected to the quadrate plate just outer side the angular retractable muscles are present and the lower side the retractor muscles of the quadrate plates are present that sting apparatus which consists of the sheath two curved basal arms and a basal swelling bulb which further extended into the two long lancet the lancets externally supported by the paired pulpifer just we focus step by step here the distal free ends of the lancets are provided with backwardly directed spines or the barbs here these are the basal arms which are curved further which consists of the swelling bulb which extended into the lancet this is the one lancet this is the another lancet which are terminally ends into the backwardly directed barbs and both of the lancet which are connected at the ends or terminal end the centrally the small channel which is formed through which the poison which is comes out at the sides the elongated muscular pulpifers are present which give the external support to the lancet inner side the three paired plates are present which give the proper support during the mechanism of the sting here that plates which are connected to the inner side already explained that muscles and which are very important for the protraction and retraction of the sting apparatus into the victim inner side that a sheath which hold the lancet at the basal side or the inner side the certain glands are present first is the poison gland which always remains in the paired and this is the coiled structure or the duct and this is the reservoir the secretion secreted by the poison gland which is stored in the poison sac or the reservoir here that secretion it is acidic in nature and also that poison gland name as the acidic gland that secretion which cause the pain and the inflammation in the wound the alkaline gland which secrete the secretion here the paired structure of the alkaline gland also present located at the base of that poison gland that alkaline gland whose secretion which has the importance to lubricate the sting parts free from the friction after stinging the sting detach from the body which causes the death of the worker bee here because that basal part of the sting also connected to the intestinal part also in worker it is used that sting which is used to defend the hive from the any intruder in queen that sting apparatus along with the ovipositor is present and that sting which is used to fight and kill the another queen in the hive or the competitor queen in the hive dear friends today's in this lecture we discussed about the thoracic as well as the abdominal region in this thoracic region we discussed the paired wing structure coupling apparatus and three pairs of the legs which are very important for the pollen collection and dislodging of the pollen grains into the bee hive in case of the abdomens the abdominal structure in the form of the four pairs of the wax glands discussed as well as we discussed the sting and their defensive mechanisms here 
thank you.